We have reached the penultimate encouragement booster based on the fruit of the Spirit. This one will focus on gentleness. People who understand me well know that I'm incredibly wary of animals and have been all my life. However, my youngest child is the opposite. They love animals and always have done. Now, after many years of charm offensive and mind games, we are a household with more pets than I ever thought possible for me to live in. One of our collection is a dog who is a gentle, sensitive soul who thinks everyone is his friend. This year for his birthday he had a party which included balloons. All the balloons are gone now, but observing him playing showed that he dealt with them differently than he would with his other toys. The latter gets shaken around, thrown up in the air and chewed. Yet he treated the balloons with utmost respect and great gentleness until eventually he accidentally caught them with his teeth and the inevitable happened. We can learn a lot from the gentleness of our dog in how we treat people. He always sees the good in everyone and everything and believes that gentleness is the best way forward in life. As I was contemplating this and thinking about gentleness in the Bible, I was reminded how Jesus dealt with people. For those who should have known better, for example the Pharisees who knew the scriptures, Jesus was sometimes shockingly blunt. However, he always treated members of society who were shunned by others with amazing respect, kindness and gentleness. Jesus was in the region of Judea near the Jordan and was speaking to crowds of people. Whilst there, a group of people brought their children to him so that he could pray for them. For some reason, the disciples told the people and their children to go away and even told them off. This was probably because children were not seen as so important as they are now. And why were they taking the time of Jesus for such small things? Jesus, on the other hand, rebuked the disciples for their attitude and treated the children with incredible kindness. He prayed for them and used them as an example as to how we should accept the kingdom of God in trusting way that children accepted him. His gentleness is again in evidence when a woman who was charged with adultery was brought to him and her accusers wanted to stone her. His gentleness was combined with wisdom in his assessment of the situation. Gentleness is a fruit of the Spirit and something Christians should aspire to in their daily life. Jesus was gentle to those who were more used to harshness and spoke to them in ways which showed this. The scripture reminds us to let your gentleness be known to all men. In the Proverbs, we are exhorted to have gentle words which will turn away wrath. Also, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 16 verse 24 that words which are gentle and gracious are like honey, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Let us remember to be gentle in our attitudes and words to others and follow the example of Jesus in our everyday life. Thank you for listening.